beginning of 2009, I continued trying to refine a 20-ounce bottle rocket with fall-off parachute deployment. I found the plastic from cottage cheese containers worked well for rocket fins, and small applesauce containers created a good ridge for the nose to rest on. Color coating labels worked well on the parachute to reinforce the area where the lines attach. Elastic worked well for a shock cord, and fishing swivels improved the line twisting problem. The first four launches, the parachute deployed perfectly. I thought I had perfected the fall-off nose. More launches proved that the reliability was far from perfect. I replaced several plastic cups used in the nose and even tried gluing two cups together. But still there was damage when the parachute failed to deploy. I came to the conclusion a method to force the nose off is what was needed. Anti-Gravity Research Corporation has several unconventional ideas in their water rockets that have intrigued me. Everything attaches to the bottle with rubber bands and the water to propel the rocket is forced out of the small hole instead of the whole nozzle like all the other water rockets I have built. No expensive or complicated launcher is needed because the small tube is pushed into the small hole. When you stop pumping, the rocket launches rather slowly. I built a Pitsco Sabre rocket kit which uses a bellow system that is held down by vacuum. As the rocket launches, a flap held to the rocket by tape comes off. The bellows chamber slowly expands, pushing the nose off the rocket to deploy the parachute. This is a simple system that worked perfectly the first several launches and then failed, damaging the rocket severely. I repaired the rocket, but the parachute failed to deploy again, and the rocket was once again damaged. The last rocket I experimented with in 2009 used a wind-up timer that released a spring that pushed the nose off. The string attached to a pin pulled the pin through an eyelet and a loop attached to one side of a hinge that held down a spring. The rod is also attached to the hinge and pushed the nose off. A braided wire went through a hole in a servo arm and released the timer as the rocket launched. It worked perfect the first launch, but more launches are needed to prove that this is reliable. Watch for more variations of this in the next video.